Oh, hi. Welcome to Tangier, Morocco. We got here last night and, um, okay, let me explain. Oh, they have lights. Lights that actually work. Okay, gonna give you a bit of a backstory. So last night we came in, checked in at our hostel at around 12 o'clock. We checked in, everything seemed fine until we went into the rooms and it smelled Bye. really bad. Oh, it's a balcony. It smelled really bad. Uh, and we didn't like the room, so in the morning when we woke up, we figured we're just gonna make a change and we're gonna book a hotel. And then here we are, we're in a hotel town. Polo. <laughs> it's right there. I say Marco, you say Polo. Polo. <laughs> so now we've checked in um, into a different hotel and it's so much better, oh man. Because we're staying here for three nights and four days and we're gonna go to Chef Chauvin, so we wanna have security and stuff. And then the place that we were staying in before, the hostel, didn't even have lockers. And that's not like storage had lockers, but just... Yeah, but it was pretty useless because it didn't have locks. locks. <laughs> yeah, and they were small, they were very small. They couldn't fit any of the bags. So, we're here. Let's uh, take a quick tour of the room. Fresh air, doesn't smell like storage. Yeah, this is meant to be single beds, but they're so yeah. big. <laughs> what? They have, they have branded shampoo. This is cool, I'm gonna make use of that. Can I eat this? No, sorry. Oh, why do they package it like that? Shower. I know. This is a shower shower. Oh, and I have a lock. That's a luxury. Wow. <laughs> a lock on the shower. Yeah, so look at these just big buds. <laughs> That's what Jessica did when the moment she entered. She's like, oh, I'm so over everything. Now we have a mirror. Oh, towels. Oh, my God, towels. <laughs> oh, shit. One Kinda, can you see? You can? Yeah, I can see. Wait, hold on, okay. Not very well, but like, you yeah. can see your figure. You try it first. <laughs> I try it first. Yeah, tell me how you go. It's like a salad crushed, like a fresh salad, which is crushed and made into a dip. That's weird. Uh, like I think candy. you meant to have it on the bread, you know that. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I don't. <laughs> I immediately regret this decision. This is unreal. This is kiwi and orange, both. We already love Tangier. Oh, fancy. I'm gonna eat the pizza. Oh. You get like every pizza. It said four seasons. So. It's rather lively out here in Tangier, and it's a lot more progressive. Yeah, and pe people seem to be a lot more civil, civilized, more so civilized. Nothing. But yeah, no, no, so far it's been great. We're just sort of blending into the stairs, just hanging out in little cool little alleys. So we've got walking walk the streets now around the Medina. Try not to go too much into it because we're gonna get lost and uh, Google Maps doesn't quite have all of the laneways on it. I'm trying to avoid conflict. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, it's just a hotel entrance, check it out. Nice views though. Okay, yeah. It's almost like chef showing, but obviously you've got like patches of moss. <laughs> yeah, apparently we're in the ocean. So. Oh, there we go. Oh, we there, moved. it's moved. No, no, we've lost our way so many times because of these lanes, and our uh, Google Maps doesn't have all of the lanes. Ooh, that's cool. This is very much like Chef Shaowen, actually. Check it. Oh, yeah. A more so, yeah. How crazy is that? Jess is like very scared of asking people if we can photograph them. And it's fair because. Rejected so many times. Because they do say no most of the time, but I was like, okay, I'll ask this guy. And um, he had like a really very characterful uh, face. And I was like, hey, sir, can we please take a photograph of you? And he smiled. He smiled and he said yes. And he was really happy about it. And just took a couple of photos. And yeah, it does are really nice. Uh, 
Oh, we just found a viewing point. It's a really nice view. I can't stop raving about the weather. So good. On a clear day, I think you can see Spain from here. So that, that's part of Morocco, obviously. But if you see into the distance, you can vaguely see mountains. And I think that's part of Morocco. I mean, part of Spain, sorry. La Salon Bleu. La Salon Bleu. It's just Jessica teaching me French the whole time and I'm just sucking at it. But we also did come across this, which looks really cool. I think it also has a rooftop there. So we have two choices now between Le Salon Bleu and whatever that is. A little nice little waterfall feature. little spot we just found. Golden hour. Oh, I walk in a lot of steps. Cafe Salon Bleu. We were meant to visit this yesterday, but did get time. Here we are now. found these sick cats and we were wondering like there's no vets around here and um, this, uh, this lady came and then she's like cleaning off all the pus of the cat's face. <laughs> very good, thank you very much. What a legend. Can't see anything. Oh, that was good. That was really nice to watch. Very heartwarming. Thank you whoever that was. Good Samaritan. Yesterday we were walking down this path and um, we went up this terrace thing. Thank you. And we saw a guy sitting around here and Jessica wanted to photograph him. And he was he was pretty keen, he was happy to be photographed. And after she took photos, he said, can you please give me the photo? She said, these photos are digital. Uh, I can't actually give them to you physically. But yesterday, last night, we uh, decided that uh, we're gonna go get these photos printed. So this morning we went and uh, we found a place we could print the photos and uh, we have them with us and now we're just looking for the guy. The guy said he's gonna be at the steps in the afternoon so we're just right now looking for him. Hello. Hello. Do you like it? Do you like? Yeah. yeah. Good? Thank you, buddy. No worries. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Yeah. You happy? Good. Yeah, she's happy. Yeah, we're really glad we found it. So, that was good. We walk around the streets of Tangier and you can see there's so much Spanish influence in the architecture. That's because uh, we've got a port. But because of the ports, a lot of uh, Spanish people would come here and uh, they would establish their culture and their architecture. It's a, it's a blend between Moroccan and Spanish. It's great, it's good to see that.